I got myself a little funny little hair again. Basically, I haven't done anything to my hair this morning yet. I have done my makeup though, which feels weird because the rest of me is not done. What am I doing? Help me, Nala. When I say that Nala is literally like a shadow, she really is just a shadow. I'm gonna leave my camera on the side and you can watch how she won't leave me alone in ever. <laughs> just ever. Wherever I am, she has to be with me. Which is the cutest thing ever and it's one of the things I love about her so much. But it's also so annoying when I'm trying to do something. Like I've been trying to edit my video this morning and she's either just laying across the keyboard so I can't do anything on my laptop or she's been on my lap or she's been licking my face or I don't know, everything. I can't, now she's licking my feet. Right, let's put the camera somewhere and you can watch what I mean. logical thing is I hear a noise it's someone in my house <laughs> I've just finished filming my Q&A there's a little setup all at um just to let you guys know I'm currently wearing black cherry lipstick by Revlon um, and it is a great dupe for Glastonbury and much cheaper Although the staying power isn't as great, but that's what you get if you don't spend as much on a lipstick. Um, but just letting you know, because I'm wearing it now and I actually think it looks very similar. Okay, I don't know how I'm ever going to edit this video because I rambled so much. Um, I always do this with Q&As. Pretty sure it's about 40 minutes long. <sighs> Why do I always do this? I just can't give like short answers to anything. I feel like... I always need to talk, 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 and talk. I'm also very hungry, and we don't really have any food in the house because we got back from the tree house, and then we went out for Alfie's birthday for a meal, and then last night we got back and ordered food, so we still haven't had time to go out and buy anything. Um, Alfie's in town right now though, so I did tell him that I would really love it if he popped into Marks and Spencer's and grabbed some food. Um, but I don't know if he'll remember to do that. I've got a meter. I've got a meetup today, which is with the competition winners of the Girl Online Paperback Competition. And we're gonna go and decorate cakes in the Angel Food Bakery in the lane. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm also so up for cupcakes right now. Um, it's been a while since I ate a good old cupcake, has it? Probably, probably not actually. Right, Missy, she's been in her pen. Haven't you? You've been a good girl in your pen. This pen is so good, guys. Um, we just felt not mean putting her in the crate because dogs actually do love their crates. They're kind of like a doggy bedroom, but there just wasn't really any space for her to play while we need her to be contained. Um, contained, we, I say that like, I mean, it's for her house training purposes because she's not been very good at it recently, but she won't go if she's in her crate. But I do feel like the crate isn't good for kind of 
if we need to be upstairs and she needs to be down here behaving. Um, so the pen is kind of like a good alternative because she can still like play in there and she's got her water and like her chews and stuff. So that's always good and she won't go for the toilet in the, cr in the pen either. So we're kind of trying her in there. I just know that if I didn't put her in the pen just now while I went to film, she would, I would have come downstairs to a poo on the floor. <laughs> She's so naughty. Um, so I'm gonna start editing the video now. Nala, do you need to go outside to the toilet? I think so. I think she does. Okay, bye. We are now at the Angel Food Bakery cupcake place. Um, we're all doing fondant icing. There's everybody. <laughs> it's like the camera's quiet, everyone's gone. Oh. <laughs> um, these are what I've done so far. I think everyone's gone for a really cute vibe and <laughs> I've done terrifying Halloween ones. I did put some glitter on the skull, so there we go. What have you got? You've got really pretty flowers. Amazing. They've gone a bit This is Billy. <laughs> they haven't gone wrong, they look great. <laughs> Carrie, what have you got? A oh, lobster with a pretty bow. Lobster <laughs> with a pretty bow. Yeah, love it. Love it. What have we got going oh, on here? Oh, cute. <laughs> love that. And we've got a sea theme. Oh, yeah. I like that. At the beach. I, I get I get you where you're going with that one. Yeah. Okay, what have we got here? Just done like a random. Oh, theme. look at the strawberry. Yeah, I, like I like that. What's that? Um, Flowers. Yeah, like a or Oh, I love it. Love it. Oh, some Oreos over there. Mm. Okay, coming round. I like. You've got some strawberries and some buttons. I've just been doing whatever, to be honest. <laughs> I like the buttons, though. They look cute. Coming round. Oh, how cute. I love that you've gone for, like, every colour. I feel like you've gone nice and, like, symmetrical with that one. Nice. Like it. Like it. And you've got some nice ones. Oh, I love the little bows. Oh, terrible. No, they're terrible. Good. <laughs> Plus they'll taste good. <laughs> what have you got here? Oh, you've made like a little, <gasps> that's amazing. But he's kind of died, so I thought I'm not going to turn him into like a dead guy. So. And then you stabbed him. Yeah. <laughs> so I, thought, oh, yes. I like those though, they're cool, the little Legos. Nice. What have you done here? Is that a little pig? Oh, that's so cute. Is it a pig? Yeah, that's a pig, isn't it? Yeah. My mum would love that. She loves pigs. I like those. Very pretty. Oh, I love how you've gone all out with the glitter. I love that. They look really, really pretty. Amazing. Okay, and what have you got here, Matthew? Let's have a look. I like the fish. Matthew has the best accent ever. He's come from Wales. Wales? Is that good? Is that good? He's like, no. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Very exciting. I kind of need to find something else that's kind of scary but small. Maybe a heart. A fox. Foxes, that can actually be quite scary, Isn't can't it? Like oh. <laughs> is it a cat? Oh, it is a cat. <laughs> You're right. Cats, Halloween. You get it? <laughs> I'm not very keen to I think what's best to do is if we leave what your decorations on the boards and just push them as take them out of the box. Put them in front of you and put, them, put your boxes on the chairs either behind you or in front of you. Okay, yeah, it's time to put the icing on the cake. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> We've got vanilla, red velvet and chocolate. Mm. I don't normally make chocolate cupcakes actually. I always go for vanilla. Is vanilla your favourite flavour? Red velvet. Yeah, red velvet is <laughs> great. I've never actually attempted to make red velvet though. So really, whichever hand is not um, using a tension at the top is just to guide it. So you want this hand to be as loose as possible. You don't want to be squeezing here at all. People do have their own personal technique techniques. So if you can't do it and there's an easier way for you to do it, go ahead, that's fine as well. There's no right or wrong here really. Okay, so I'll show you the Mr. Whippy piping technique then. So you want to start from the very outside of your cake, going all the way around quite slowly and working your way into the middle with a nice point on top like that as well. So that's the Mr. Whippy. <laughs> 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 
The other one which is really pretty and is actually slightly easier to do than this one because you're not having to build it up in that sort of 3D technique is called the rose swirl. We use this a lot here and because it's quite easy we can, um, it, and it's, it's slightly prettier in my opinion than that. So it's similar again, what you want to do is start from the middle and work your way out but you're staying at a low level. So you're going to start from the middle and really tight circles almost on top of each other. Like that. And that's the rose swell there. So it's really pretty and again it's, it's almost better for decorations like these, any large decorations, you don't have to stick on top, you can just lay it straight on top there. But really, get as creative as you want to. Let me just get some more demo tapes. So there are loads of things you can do. Um, yeah, get creative, do whatever you want. Um, there are things like, I don't know, really if this has a name but I call it the hedgehog <laughs> you just do you just go round your cake and do little sort of star shapes all the way around you can do one big one in the middle anything you want you can do lines all the way around um, what I would say is don't build them up too much because they do you will need to close the lid on your cakes and you don't want to squish it down so try and keep it at a sort of lowish level um, the other thing I can show you is um, using a palette knife. It is quite difficult, so I would suggest just to stay with the piping bags, but I will show you. Thank you, Matilde. So, you just want to get, get your um, icing, your buttercream frosting on. What you're going to do is smooth it round into a cream. You will need to use the table for this, because you want to keep your um, palette knife, which is this, as clean as possible. So you're going to smooth it around to a nice angle. So can you see they're sort of like cut cones upwards into the middle? You're going to cut the top off, smooth it around again, and then twist with a, for a nice swirl like that as well. Yeah, so that one's quite hard, but use the palette enough for whatever you want to do. If you'd rather just have a smooth top to it, that's fine as well. The more you handle your cakes, the more, the, the more pressure you have on the cases, the more likely your cases to come out of their cases. So try not to handle them too much. Yeah, sure. This is a One, you should have taken your... Oh my... You are right there, Tanya. <laughs> Okay, these are my finished cupcakes. Um, some focus. There we go. These are Billy's finished cupcakes. They look amazing. That's Which really one's your favourite? Which one's your favourite? That one. I like that one the best as well. Very good. Tanya's looking very good. Everyone's look great. Everyone's looks great. English. <laughs> Forgotten English. Nice. Mmm. Is that made out of the same stuff as space? I think so. They look kind of what are they called? Spaceships. That's what are they called? Wow, look at the sea They're so good. Well done. Some very talented people in here. By the way, look at our cool aprons. Yay! I was like, oh, I don't have a sticker on mine. Oh wait, it says Zoe Sug on it. <laughs> Are you all happy with your cupcakes? Yeah? yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at these, these look delicious. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Okay, good. We're all just having tea and look who rocks up. Hello. He's, cra he's crashed the tea party. I came for some cake. We were literally yeah. just sitting down eating lunch, Bob and Sean I was. <laughs> and then we were going to get pudding and I was like, no way, let's go around the corner and steal their cakes. <laughs> so that is what he's come to do. Whoa, it's really bright. Um, are you going to have any cakes at Bob and Sean? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you so much for coming. Have you all had a nice time? Yeah. Okay, good. And enjoy your cakes. So Carrie and myself are just in traffic and she's just pointed out that this is the chilli festival um, of which people come from all around the world to eat really spicy chilli. Louis, why aren't you here? <laughs> this is your dream festival! It's the chilli festival! Amazing. Hello. 
Hello, how's your day been then? So productive. So good. <sighs> I'm tired. Such a good day though, like, so good. <sighs> Me too. I have to say, that was oh, one of family. She's like, wait, I'm not in it. I have to say, that was one of the nicest meetups I've done ever. Um, I know, I think Nala's farted. Did you smell that? No. Oh. <laughs> well, that's um, probably you. <laughs> I know there wasn't that probably many people there. Probably your own breath. There. No, it wasn't. I know there wasn't that many people there. But I think that's what made it so nice because it felt so much more intimate and I got to speak with everybody and everybody had as many photos as they wanted and we got to make cupcakes and it was just so, so lovely and um, I've checked back on everyone's Twitters and they've all had a really good day which makes me even more happy. So, did you think it looked cute when you came in? Mm -hmm. Really cute. I liked everyone's aprons. Yeah, the aprons, the custom aprons. You said I've, I've got, got one. one for you. Yeah. yeah, that's what you said. Um, but yeah, I really, I want to just do more of those, like more little kind of intimate. Do you guys know that Zoe wears a wig? Look. Did, Did you guys know, know Alfie's beard isn't real? <laughs> what do you mean it's not real? It's glue on. My beard's not real either. Your beard is real. It's not a stick on. Hello. Come here. Come here. Come and sit on mummy's head. Ow. 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 No. Guess what we've got look for her. today. Look at her sitting on my leg. <laughs> Literally sitting on my leg like it's a chair. <laughs> She's like, what are you looking at? <laughs> Guess what we've got for pudding? I can't guess. What? God. We've got cupcakes. I made mine Halloween themed. Oh yeah, I saw they had like little skulls on them and stuff. Yeah. Glittery white skulls. But yeah, all in all, ow, all in all, it's been a great day. Do you know what was on actually? The chili festival, where people eat chilies and they do like chili eating contests and it's literally like lots and lots of spicy food. Louis and I, would love that. I know, that's what I said in my video. I was like, oh my God, Louis, why aren't you here? Why aren't you at the chili festival eating chilies? What? Stop. Stop what? You're so rude. Get out of my life. <laughs> You're just so entertaining. Are you going to ever move those off the ceiling? Why do I need to? Are those the, great balloons that you put String on. They're they just are a bit messy. Channel video that went up last night. Looks like 52. It. If you want to go check it out, it went up last night. That's where they're from. <laughs> <laughs> are you ever going to move them? <laughs> no, they're in my new video that went up last night. If you want to check it out on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, what, those watching, balloons? Yeah, watch they're from my video, my new ones. <laughs> <laughs> we're watching X Factor. <laughs> I love how you go like this. And it still just goes on me. <laughs> We're watching X Factor Boot Camp out! Well, I was watching it until you came in. Let me get in the bed with you. So, we've just filmed Sims, and now this is one thing that me and Alfie do do a lot with Nala because she's a pug and she's got creases. You just have to get in here. Good girl! Look at the little muck. Little bits. Important because if you didn't know, pugs have like a little crease here. Let's show them her little crease. Do you Just see? In there. Up in there, which is weird. They have a little fold that you have to so clean you inside. Tears as well. We don't really ever show like the grooming part of having a dog. Or putting her to bed or anything really. Picking up her poo. <laughs> oh. She's being such a good girl though. Do you remember she used to hate this? Time to take the day off! one by my feet always um you might be a bit confused why i'm in this bathroom and not the normal one that we use 
Um, I just like getting ready in that one because none of Alfie's stuff is in there. Whoa, okay, it's dark. There we go. Because none of Alfie's stuff is in there. It's literally just my stuff. Um, so I prefer to come in here, but this is actually the spare room. Look how lovely and cosy that thing looks. This is where I filmed my video earlier. I'm gonna go and do another cleanse on my face with my micellar water. I'm then going to put the Sunday Riley Luna Serum on. And then I think I'm just gonna watch a couple of YouTube videos and go to sleep. By the way, you guys, if you've ever wondered where this tree is from, it's from Next. And I bought it last year, but they do have it in this year. My little um, jar is from Home Sense. It's actually really lovely. I really like it. And I've got my little leaves candle. I got these from Next Home. These from Next Home. So these two cushions. And I also got this from Home Sense. So that's my little kind of autumn-y setup, I guess. It is very cosy and I love it a lot. And yeah, I'm gonna go now. <laughs>